hello friends welcome back so as we discussed in the last session it was a master slave replication between infra server and infra 2 server mm -hmm. okay so switch to full screen switch okay so in the last session we understood how to set up a replication or master slave replication between this infra and infra 2 server it was a kind of user that we created in cn equal to config in the slave server and we created an agreement in the master server where we specified the details of this user so that it could push update to the slave so in this session we are going to set up a multi master replication rather than master slave replication okay let's continue with the last session I double click on directory server move to configuration directory and the first thing that I need to do is let's break up the replication between these two directory server configuration replication enable change log should be fine so this is fine coming on to replica so this time uh, first of all let's break the replication delete replication agreement so as soon as this replication agreement is broken down between the master and the slave now whatever you modify on the master is not going to be updated to the slave let's have an example in the labs and I, here I can see that rcvaldep4 is there let me create one more user ldap uh, ldap5 test so it's our ldap5 click on ok now here I move to infra2 server in the labs in the people I refresh it so here you cannot see any other user so that's fine it's not getting updated the reason being replication has been broken down let's come to user root enable replica should be enabled but right now instead of single master let's modify it to multiple master if we are talking about multiple masters we need to specify the supplier DN that the supplier is going to use to update or push the updates on the server so for this uh, let's create a user UID R manager comma CN equal to config and add it UID equal to R manager comma CN equal to config save it now it's working in multi master fine the second part that we need to do is going on to the directory under config let's create a new user manager on infra our manager our manager at one two three our manager at one two three so this user has also been created and we have allowed this user to push the updates on this user root we have a user on uh, this infra 2 also let's move on to the configuration replication user root and here we can see that okay uh, this was not required so I just created it for test purpose so this is actually the referrals 
that we have to push to so okay coming on to let's mark it as multiple master if you want to configure a master or a hub you need to define change logs yes we missed that enable change logs whenever we want to set any server to work as a master we should enable change log use default click on save coming on to user root set it as multiple master and we need to specify it the replica ID that I am specifying as a uh, two click on save and I'm done so first part is done I have configured it to work as a multiple master I have configured infra to work as a multiple master I have created a user that could be used to push update to it I have already created a user which can be used to push updates to it now this should be a kind of agreement which needs to be created at both the ends start from the master server where we, where we have the most updated data click on a new replication agreement give it a name infra to infra to infra to infra to replication or any name whichever you want click on next supplier will be infra and consumer will be infra to dot labs dot local on 636 use SSL or TLS and bind as UID equal to R manager two comma CN equal to config manager to at one two three because first server is going to coordinate with the second server to push updates to it there we have a different user which is our manager two click on next there's something wrong infra two dot labs dot local r manager two comma c n equal to config r manager two at one two three click on next yeah so there was some issue with the password this time it got corrected click on next always keep directories in sync click on next initialize the consumer now you have to note one thing that we are going to initialize only one way not the other way because the, uh, the other way wa uh, will already be in the updated state so we are clicking on initialize the consumer now click on next and done so there should be a new user that you created last time consumer initialization has successfully completed so we are good with the first part people here I can see our LDAP 5 or you can say our LDAP 5 was the user I created and let's make sure that the things are fine so it's our setup one or any user just to make sure that the application is working fine coming on to people and refresh it our setup one is there so one way replication is working fine when we are going to configure the second way replication second way replication we need to create an agreement from infra to to infra so coming on to this location user root create a new replication agreement this is going to be from infra to to infra infra to to infra replication click on next now this time who is going to be the consumer this is infra server click on other 
and here you can see infra dot labs dot local port number will be 636 click on OK fine now supplier is infra 2 and consumer is infra use TLS SSL bind as UID equal to R manager comma CN equal to config password is R manager at 123 click on next yes the connection was successful click on next always keep the directories in sync click on next so here you can see create a consumer initialization file LD file will be created and will be present to you or you can set do not initialize consumer because if we are talking about the status of uh, this because this is going to act as a consumer now this already has the updated data and which which is already pushed into it because of the replication agreement whichever user we created after this time also will be present will be already pres present on it and definitely in this time being we are not going to update anything in the slave server or infra 2 so I just set do not initialize consumer click on next and done okay it says replica acquired successfully incremental update succeeded so now what we can see is uh, this is infra 2 and this is infra okay so here um, coming on to configuration there is a replication agreement from infra to infra 2 which says the replication will happen from infra to infra 2 and here we can see a replication agreement uh, this is infra this is infra 2 here we can see a replication agreement from infra 2 to infra so effectively this is a multi master replication from here to here and here to here so let's have a look into whether it's working fine let's try to create an entry because we are already set up with the replication and we have to just test it out let's recall there is a user that is to be created into infra 2 there is a user that is to be created on infra 1 after that a replication agreement has to be set up from infra to infra 2 and infra 2 to infra 1 and before that we set up the replication and enable change log on both of them and we uh, under user root we set them both as multi master so just move on to directory move on to directory this is your infra and this is your infra 2 let's try to add users or groups on both the sides so under the people I create a new user multi master setup one so test test so this is the user that I am creating at infra mm setup one on infra two I refresh it and I can see that m setup one has been propagated let's try to create a user on infra two new user multi master setup 2 m setup 2 test test and click on ok so here you can see that a new user has been created and coming on to infra server I just refresh it and here you have the user m setup 2 it simply means that whatever user you are trying to create on infra gets replicated to infra 2 and whichever user or group or whichever entry you created under labs is going to be replicated from infra 2 to infra so this is how a multi master replication works on a 389 directory server I hope 
I was able to make you understand how this multi master application works so that's all for today have a good day mm -hmm.